So the next matchup, Inspector Charles versus Ed Napier. Napier was a, a very dominant win for him in winner's finals, really, because he just played composed all the way through. And throughout the entire Path to Pro series, Napier has been aggressive. You know, he has been the most aggressive Batman I think we've ever seen. You never have a moment to breathe or calculate or think about what is going on. You know, you don't have a chance to, to think about all these different ways you have to block against Batman. And even after it's post-patch Batman, where he's not even as plus on block as he used to be when he goes for the straight Batarang, you'd never believe that this character got nerfed because he's still got fantastic damage and fantastic pressure, but a lot more of it is built around his character power. Now again, for the last time, I'm gonna ask you guys, starting with under Jim, predictions to win the whole path to pro who are you liking the most? I think uh, he'll he'll keep his win and going forward, and it'll be Napier. I don't think he'll fall fall short at the uh, last hurdle now. I'm going to be mirroring that. I think it's going to be Napier 100%. I think he's on the winner's side, so obviously less work to do is going to be a big thing. But he just looks next level composed today. Like whatever Napier is doing, it's working, and he is the guy that sent. Inspector Charles two loses in quite convincing fashion as well. Like he just looks to be unstoppable today, and I think he's going to ride that momentum and take the whole thing and be our path to pro winner. In many ways, it kind of looks like Ed Napier is the only player that can defeat Inspector Charles because Inspector himself has been looking so strong today. He looked almost completely unstoppable, and then in winners finals when he fought off against Napier and it was quite a dominant loss, it's like, well, wow, this guy actually can lose. The question is, I mean, these guys are both qualified, so the difference in this grand finals is going to be two and a half thousand pounds separating the two. So if you win this tournament, you get a much larger chunk of change than the guy that gets second place. But this has been the Injustice 2 path to pro. 12 weeks of weekly competition. It's down to two players out of the hundreds, maybe even thousands that have entered across this region over each individual week. And it's down to this final moment. So many characters, so many players, and really, these guys are qualified already, but now it's about who is the winner, who is the best player in this program. And we'll find out soon. Atrocitus versus Batman. Napier is the guy that said Inspector Charles to lose us, so you know Inspector's going to want that run back. Inspector Charles is running hot off of that win. He just got on Happy Power. Happy Power was the last European defender, the lone French man left by himself in lower bracket, who just narrowly lost, narrowly lost to Inspector Last Charles. minute. Indeed, but I mean, it was a good set and it's been a really good day of games overall. I think we've had some really good gameplay from everyone. Again, like I've said a lot before, well represented regions. You know, we've got a lot of countries here that took part today uh, across all of Europe. And you know, this has been a mixture of players that have been long time another own players, some unfamiliar faces, some players that didn't thrive so much in MKX and have really found their footing in Injustice 2 and sort of vice versa. And I think this is a nice way to finish things off. You know, we're going to have really nice high level Batman versus thoroughly enjoyable Atrocitus play to watch. Out of the two characters, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys again, who do you think has had the most impressive sort of display of knowledge with the individual character? Because for me, that really is Inspector. I think like, the way he's used Atrocitus has just been out of this world for me. Inspector has the tech, but Napier has just the ability to outplay the opponent. And Napier has kind of been that next level at just realizing what his opponent's going to do, whereas Inspector has shown an, just like an, an unparalleled skill of showing, I know what Atrocitus can do here. I'm going to do something something funky, something freaky that you've not seen before. Whereas Napier, a lot of the stuff that he does and a lot of his sort of top plays this weekend have, hasn't really been off of Batman. It's been off of him making ridiculous reads, right? Like just four dashing at Harley that he thinks is just going to start throwing stuff and, you know, just navigating the, the field in such a ridiculous way. So it sounds very much like we're almost ready to get into our character select, our final character select for the Injustice 2 Path to Pro. And I mean, uh, I'm really excited to get this Grand Finals underway because it, it's been such an unbelievably hard fought journey. And the fact that both these guys are going to be going to the World Championship and they're going to be able to show the rest of the world just what they have to offer. They have, out of everyone that's qualified so far, they have some of the highest chances, I think, to make upsets at that World Championship because you've got a Batman of this caliber and an Atrocitus of this caliber. And a lot of people are sort of sleeping on Atrocitus now. They think because the character was nerfed, he's not viable, you know? But then here comes Inspector Chodge, uh, Chodge? Chodge, with this ridiculous Atrocitus, and he uses the entire move set. And if these guys can keep their composure in the World Championships, I honestly expect them to do pretty well for themselves. But we have seen Russia have uh, mixed success as well, sort of internationally through another round of tournaments before. You know, let's look back to MKX, right? Season one, which was the big year for internationals. You know, we saw Sakron do well at MK, Cheap Eddie, La. Russia has proven itself as a, a strong scene. Vladdy Sevnar, Harry Nightmare. I mean, yeah, shout to all you guys. But this is the Grand Finals. The Injustice 2 Path to Pro, presented by PlayStation 4. 12 weeks of constant competition down to two final players. These guys are 
both be present at the World Championships, and they have a uh, good expectation to be collecting some heads. It's a Batman specialist, an Atrocitus specialist, and this is the final set of the entire tournament. Look at what that a start. patience. This is what we saw in winners' finals. Just such amazing discipline from both of them, just trying to wait out. Vladdy, uh, say, <laughs> Nappy, I should say. See, Batman, I get confused. Uh, he's opting to just sit there and wait with the bats. He wants to wait that cat time, and Inspector just doesn't want to walk into anything that mechanical bats will punish. Now, what we did see in winners' finals was just never ending rushdown from Napier, and he just never stopped. You know, he never gave you a room to, to think about what was going on. I feel like a big part of Inspector is going to be just managing that trait so intelligently, but just, he's just waiting for, for Napier to try and escape, but he's not able to. And there's that read. Good stuff from Nappy is going to turn it into a standing reset. What's the mix up? Oh, just pressure. Going in for that jump in, saving that trait for the pressure at the end. Gets hit by the last minute jump in. Really against Batman. You can only block for so long. Oh, catches the backdash. Does Nappy beat? Doesn't commit. There's the push block. Trying to undo some of that. Does, in fact, get rid of the mechanical bats. Now, earlier in winners' finals, Inspector was trying to punish that slide. So immediately. He's not trying to punish it anymore. That's a, a quick adaptation. Come on, it's not worth it. Don't press anything. Just try and wait out the bats. Oh, what a double jump from Napier. Yeah, next level read. Full combo incoming. He's going to get a reset. Oh, the block in front. Fantastic block from Chos. Chos isn't able to combo off the trade, though. Throwing the kegs. Getting his safe cat. Oh, he's going in with the shield. Nice lift. Oh, but isn't in range to get a full combo. Yeah, not quite able to convert that. Big thing though, Napier is, is happy to push block of Trossus. That's one thing we actually didn't see much from Happy Pal in losers finals, was willingness to push block Dexstar away, but Napier is happy to do it every single time. Oh, he's got the Batman trait that can get the job done, but again, trying to down one, maybe actually trying to interrupt before the wow. uh, bat comes out, but doesn't quite work out. Gonna get guaranteed health back here. This could be some health back, how much is he gonna take? One, he wants to hold on to one of them, I think. Trossus really kinda needs that bar to get his game going with the amount of life left that Napier has. But the thing about Batman is, so long as Batman has one bat, you are in trouble. Like, he can deny so much, and wow, just a catch! Not going to quite kill him that, because he hasn't got the bar to convert into meter burn grappling. But, I mean, he's still in such a bad spot. Here comes Chos, he's pulled out the clutch before. Not quite today! Unfortunately, he gets tagged by that low into up Batarang, and uh, already, Napier with a fantastic start. One game up in this Grand Finals. That's a good way to start, you know, winner's side too. I mean, when you're already coming into grand finals from loser's side, you know you have to win twice. You have to reset the bracket, and that's what Inspector Joss has to do. He has to basically knock a Napier down into the loser's bracket, where he can then eliminate him. That's what he has to do first, which means that he has to work twice as hard. He has to win twice as many games. So every single time that Napier is going to take a game here, it's going to make it that much harder for Inspector Joss to make this full comeback from loser's side grand finals. We've seen it happen many times before, but... I mean, when you're playing for what they're currently playing for, which is a big difference in cash prize money, I mean, it's going to be difficult, for sure. Begin. Now, let's see what ad adaptation Spectre can make. He's been making some, especially actually in the winners' finals, the adaptations these players made against each other were just on the spot and quick. As Dexar again tries to stagger, but eating all three mechanical bats for his trouble, but not taking a huge amount of damage. Oh, tries to wake up, but that's going to get chewed up completely. And Spectre with a strong start to game two. Oh no, he drops the combo though. There's a whiff punish, full combo, back 2-3. One of the best mid whiff punishes in this game. Tries to down one. one's going to yeah. get punished for free by Napier. Doesn't have the bar to get the restand, does he? No, he does not. But in many ways, because he gets a long splat, he's still going to guarantee himself a trait call, and that trait call is all he needs. That's actually, a, that's actually a big uh, a big adjustment from Nappy though, is just not letting him go for any of these blood siphons or anything on block, because the down two is just punishing it for free. Catching the low puddle. Spectre back in this one. Still no, not a lot of life left at all. Oh, the down two gets chewed up by the mechanical bat and evened out immediately. Nappy are now one life bar away from going up 2-0. Oh wow, just a raw low puddle from full screen. I mean, such an attractive option. Oh, Nappy, just no fear on that ball at all. Oh, look at this dodging. And to the earth, the heat oh. comboed. That was so disgusting. The mechanical bat trading with the shield, and then he catches the instant jump two. What is it with Nappy being able to nail those instant jump twos every single time? He's just, just confident in his reads. He jumps over clean. That's not going to be a full jump in, but a little bit of damage. We now know that Inspector's lost his clash. Oh, the patience. There's no way Nappy is going to fall for that one. 
full combo. Massive 450 damage. damage as well. That is going to hurt. Oh, 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 three whiffs. Just, uh, the only reason he didn't get whiff punished there was because he was in the middle of calling the trait. Here comes Inspector. He's got all that meter. He's killed with it before. Using the plus frames, but good blocks again. The reaction fuzzy. The clean jump and the combo straight through. Napier, I don't know what it is about Napier, but he just doesn't. On top of having this amazing offense, he is so hard to open up. He just has really good blocks. You know, he's paying attention. He knows what he's doing. But also his ability to just jump and thread himself through at the perfect time has just been unparalleled. His mobility, like his his decision making on when to do these risky escape options has just been on point time after time after time. And now Inspector Charles is one game away from getting 3 0 in grand finals. Now, when you're in this situation, it's quite a lot to take in because he now has to win three games in a row, but not to win the tournament to reset the bracket. So if he wants to stay alive in this tournament, he's got to do three straight, can't give up a single game, but then he's got to do it all over again. Begin. Is it going to be a too much of a tall order? Oh, oh my no. God, the reaction jump in from Napier. He did the neutral jump and he was just waiting to see what would happen. Good block on the cross-up. Plus on block, making it even more plus using the Dexter shield, but it is going to use a little bit more of that character power. And there's the punish on the slide, not letting Napier get a little bit too ahead of himself. Oh no, Mia Man forward three to power through again, guaranteeing the level two trait. Oh, Antio with a mechanical bat, and Appia just had to sit there and let the bats do the rest. Pushbook force from Inspector Charles tries to jump over the interaction, but can't quite get the height. Now, we've seen Napia before, completely content just sitting here. And there oh we go, he just Lord. waits for the forward two. That was just such an intelligent It's play. like Napia is playing in slow motion, and he can just see everything. That's going to be tournament point just like that. Championship point, in fact. Napier has been such a dominant force in the path to pro. He qualified later on. The early clash, I mean, really, that early clash is bad news for Inspector because now if he gets tagged, he has no escape methods. Indeed, he's going to keep himself alive for now, but already, I mean, just look at the way Napier is moving around. How do you contain someone this hard to contain? Catches a low, doesn't even need meter for the conversion, tries to survive with Dexar, but really, he is so down on life, he needs to make us, he just needs to make something happen now. Oh no, no punish, just sat there and waited. And Napier didn't even attempt to punish, that was uncharacteristic, I think he's just happy, it means that Napier is happy to just sit there and wait. Speaking of which, if you've got mechanical bats at your disposal, sitting there and waiting is not a necessarily unattractive option. Oh, uh -oh that's it! Oh, that could be huge. That might not do enough by itself, but it will get close. Is that going to be enough? No, not quite. Just going to play the keep away game now. No reason to overextend. Charles is in such a bad spot. He has to open him up, but the push block to deny it. And here comes the chip damage. There's the overhead, and there is the entire championship. Napier from Russia is the grand champion. 12 weeks on, path to pro, we came down to this final moment, and Ed Napier, qualifying so late in the qualification stages, is able to take it over Inspector Charles in a dominating fashion. 3-0, Batman versus Atrocitus. Job well done, and we'll be seeing both of these players at the Injustice 2 World Championships. Well, I mean, Jim, we saw Batman from start to finish. You're a Batman man yourself. No doubt you're happy for Napier, because this character is going to be going to that World Championship, riding a lot of momentum. I mean, what do you think of his Batman? Man, you know, what, what were the, the key elements that just made him never ending? Uh, I think he was kind of, he's one of those Batman players that he uses tools, but he, he focuses more on the player because Batman is very much a character of uh, frame traps with disrespect and kind of knowing when your opponent is going to press a button and Napier knew when everyone was pressing, going to press a button. He was just really there. good at reading them, right? Like yeah. Just being that next step ahead of where they were currently in the situation, putting you in a position that you want to press a button, punishing you for pressing a button, making you want to backdash, punishing the backdash, making you want to jump, and yelling you. Just overall solid fundamental play, and like like under Jim said, it's, it's a really good character to do that, and if you have the skills and the ability and the reactions to do so, you can take results like this and just some of these highlights are just absolutely ridiculous. But it, it's just a great understanding. Every single time Napier fought an opponent here, it never really seemed like it was a matchup he didn't know or he didn't know what his options were out of certain scenarios. Like, clearly this is a guy that plays Batman from start to finish. And I mean, actually, I was going to comment on it. In that first map when it was on Metropolis Bar and it was Atrocitus versus Batman and they're waiting for the trait. I mean, that's the uh, Injustice 2 beta, right? That's literally how long he's been playing matchups like this. Non-stop. 
And because it's, it's just been when you pick this one character and use just that character, the results can be very rewarding if your character like Batman is as well-rounded as the character is. I expect Napier when he goes into the World Championship to be doing some serious damage. Do not sleep on either of these players because, I mean, if they prove anything today, it's that they know a, t a thing or two about Injustice. That's the scary thing, though. This is two players we're going to be seeing at the Injustice 2 World Championships, which means that this terrifying Batman and that atrocitus was just that, that understanding and that knowledge of the character. We will be seeing again against the best players in the world versus the winners of Liga Latina, hometown heroes, as well as obviously themselves being part of the Pro and the Injustice Pro Series. They will all meet at the end they come together. of the World Championships. They will find themselves the best players fighting the best players to see who is the best player at the end of the day. In general, well, before we sign off, guys, I want to remind you for one final time, we have a competition going on, and I mean, this is your final chance for the competition. Make sure you go to esl.pm forward slash path to pro comp. The first prize is a lovely pair of statues, Batman and Brainiac. It's the Injustice 2 versus collection provided by Triforce. So thank you very much for the last time, guys, for these. They are fantastic. And our second prize are some official Injustice 2 merchandise bags. I've got a bunch of swag and goodies inside them. So generally, if you want to play Injustice 2 and you like things like this, then by all means, just get signed up and you might walk away with one of those. But the tournament, is finished. Napier is the grand champion, Batman and Atrocitus within the form of Inspector Charles will be going to the Injustice 2 World Championship and we will be seeing these guys later on in the year competing for that life-changing cash pot. That's it from us. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much Undead Jim for joining us. And I'm not going to thank you because you and I just stuck with each other forever. It's been a great experience and we loved talking about some Injustice 2. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in for more Injustice 2 on the NetherRealm Twitch channel where the Injustice Pro Series and everything else will continue. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.